unite us as one. No chains will hold you. Bilal, a new breed of hero. And how did I think about it? Well, let's get into it. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Bilal, a new breed of hero. Thank you so much, I do appreciate it. But before we get into the review, help your boy out by clicking that subscribe button. Click the bell so you can also be notified when I make uploads and give me that thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. So now we have Bilal, a new breed of hero. Uh, this is a pretty popular voice cast to me and that's really what I did enjoy about the movie this came out originally in 2015 in different locations in uh, different parts of the world and also some film festivals it didn't do too well but now they're really trying to make it pretty big here in the states and it's being directed by karam h halavi and yaman jamal i've never heard of them before but they are co-directors and what this movie is about is the real life uh story of balal aban raba from the years of 580 to 640 ad after after death and this movie is like really big in the Muslim community um, that's in the news that's in the press I also know because I was uh, speaking to someone about this uh, last week when I went to a screening for it and I know my review is late you know I was the first one in the theater just kind of sitting down getting comfortable people started coming in uh, guys sitting next to me and right before the movie started you know he was like so uh, what brings you to the movie and I'm kind of thinking like, I'm, okay, what the hell what kind of question is that? And I was just like, oh, I'm just, you know, I wasn't real. I was like, oh, I'm just here. I just want to see a good movie. You know, he was, I was like, what about you? He was like, oh, I'm here for, you know, uh, in support of the Muslim community. And I just kind of like look, started looking around. I was like, wow, okay, yeah, there, there's a lot of Muslims in here. You know, that's what's up. They're trying to, you know, support their people. Uh, but what the movie is about, um, it's a 3D computer generated film. Uh, takes place in the dates that I just listed. And Bilal, um, he is a, he's a young boy when the film starts off he has a sister and he has a mother and due to some extreme unfortunate circumstances he's ripped from his family his murder his his murder his mother is murdered and then he's thrown into slavery and Bilal is like you know he's like a, like the title suggests he's like a new breed of hero he is known as a hero to his people uh, he's also known for his beautiful voice and so when I was really hearing that premise and kind of seeing the trailers online about it that kind of got me really excited because I'm like you know I, I like heroes I like people standing up against oppression and things like that and so you know that is something that really got me interested into the film and some of the things that i really did like about it is uh what i noticed the first thing was the sound mixing and the sound editing that was stellar that was top notch i, I was loving that across the board um if you do go to see this in the theaters um i think it is worth it just because like all the pops and the booms and the music and sound effects and things like that really did stand out uh sometimes you go to the theater and that kind of can blend in with the rest of the environment with the voice acting score and all that things but i really did feel the bass i really did feel just all the sound mixings from every type of sound effect possible on screen and you know that's just i mean i, I like sound i like scores but in this film right here it really did stand out especially um you know de de also delving within the story um you know every uh group of people every civilization has well not every civilization but most has somebody that they worship and um you know in this film they did too they had a bunch of uh idol gods that some people did worship and uh, that was pretty greedy, pretty selfish, um, you know, uh, was really just about material things. And when these so-called gods or idols were speaking, when they were coming through with all the sound mixing and the bass and things like that, that stood out to me as well. And I'm just kind of like, whoa, you know, that's kind of threatening there. You know, I'm kind of feeling this, you know, the film has kind of. Uh, portrayed a worthy antagonist as you would say and so that's just kind of something that got me on board i also really did like the uh, voice acting we have uh adewale ekonowe akbaje uh, he's an african brother i forgot what country he's from um i think he's from nigeria if he's not i'm so so sorry for botching that i should have wrote that down but i thought i had it memorized but we also have ian mcshane and another gentleman by the name of al uh al uh, rodrigo and the voice acting in this movie could not have been any better for the roles that they were trying to portray. Um, we also got, um, you know, like Adewale 
Adewale Ikenowe Akbaje, um, he is voicing Balal as the uh, as a man. But, you know, we see Balal as like a six-year-old, as a teenager, and then, you know, as a grown man. And so, you know, we get to see him in different stages of his life. But I, I liked it a lot more when it was um, when it was Adewale, um, you know, voicing his uh, voicing the character as a man. Now, uh, I just said that the, the film shows uh, Balal, the hero, in like different sections of his life. And that's kind of where I want to get into the negatives of negatives of the film because I really didn't get into it other than the sound mixing and all that and the voice acting and too much and so he got to a man but when he was a young boy and a teenager you know I was watching it and I'm just like okay this is this is somewhat interesting you know where is the story going uh, but the, the pacing of the story we're just kind of like all over the place. And when I'm seeing him as a little boy and I'm seeing him as a teenager, I'm, I'm, I'm just starting to kind of lose interest. I'm like, where is the story going? I mean, every time something interesting is happening, even when he becomes a man and things are revving up, like the film transitions over to another scene and it's just kind of knocking the wind out of me. The transitions were not that good. I didn't know where the story, story was going. I, it was hitting a brick wall unnecessarily over and over and over again. And I just kept getting bored. And I was just like, okay, really, what is making Bilal such a hero you know that's really what I want, wanted to come see what is he going to do that's just really going to turn me over and convince me like okay this guy right here he is the man and he can really just lead his people now when Bilal got older um, you know I, I did like him as a character and he is somebody that I would not mind getting to know wouldn't mind going to lunch with or anything like that you know somebody that I would not mind hanging out on the weekend he's a very respectable guy very respectable character you know when he was oppressed there was certain times to where he did stand up you know for injustices and just kind of like you know when he's monologuing through certain scenes and kind of reminiscing on the past like you know hey my mother taught me that it's not just about physical change it's about mental change i'm like okay i, I respect that but there were just like really just one or two small incidents where there was a public crowd to where you know he really just did something to move everybody and to me that just wasn't enough like when i got towards the end of this film i was just kind of asking myself okay is that it i mean you really didn't show anything i mean he finally got out of slavery and he was doing this and doing that and learning how to fight and went over here and went over there and you know through kind of like a montage that's kind of when they showed him rise up on a building and you know everybody just started following him and i'm just like you know i'm, I'm not really convinced here i'm not I don't, I'm not saying that the character is bad. I'm not saying that the character is not a hero at all. I am not saying that at all. I am not trying to be disrespectful to this real life character. But what I am saying is that in this movie, they did not portray it well enough to uh, sell the point, you know, of this subtitle uh, for the titular character Bilal. Um, now, towards the end of the film, there was an action film that did, um, you know, kind of get me a little excited, kind of did get me to the edge of my seat because I really do like action. But I'm thinking, OK, hey, this is going to be the scene to where he comes through with his sword, slashing everybody down, you know, I'm below, you know, something like that. But, you know, that never came. And I'm just like, OK, he really wasn't a hero in this last war, this last battle either. You know, not saying anything bad about him. I, I'm not. I'm not. There, there is nothing bad bad about Bala in this movie but there is something wrong with the way the story is told and how they did you know portray um just how everything flowed it wasn't a smooth story it did not flow well the pacing was off and it wasn't even that long it was like an hour and 45 minutes and i was just kind of like okay you know when are we going to get to something interesting and then the battle came at the end it was interesting but then i kind of just left you know feeling like it was a letdown um, if I had to rate this movie Bilal, a new breed of hero out of a one out of 10, I would give it a six out of 10. Yes, a six out of 10. And that is still a positive rating. And also something I did leave out that, um, also was a negative for me was the CD, the CD, uh, the 3d, um, CG animation. Um, it was very clear to me that at some points in the film, they did spend a lot of time on the animation to make it pop and stand out and, you know, um, just, you know, make it beautiful, um, especially in the slow motion scenes. But there was other points in the movie to where they didn't put too much concentration on that at all. And it was very obvious to me. But hey, guys, that's just my opinion. Have you seen Bilal, a new breed of hero or do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. 
if you like this video go ahead and give me the thumbs up and if you don't like the video that's fine leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up um, also guys subscribe to my channel um, you can also go to my website check that out there bookmark it also look me up on social media Facebook Instagram and Twitter it's right there at the bottom of your screen and I made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff good stuff down below and especially the Facebook page guys it would really help me out if you just like my Facebook page but guys I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Bilal a new breed of hero and before you go don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery and that's just my opinion peace